Today we're going to show you how to edit the pitch and timing of your vocals using the ARA version of Repitch from within Cubase. Now for this tutorial, I'm using Cubase version 12.0.40, and this is the minimum needed version to support this particular ARA workflow. Now, if you're using an older version of Cubase or anything earlier than 12.0.40, please refer to our website to see if your version is supported, or quite simply, use Repitch as the first insert in your chain and use a real-time capture. Lastly, this video is to help get you started. More in-depth tutorials can be found on our website. So let's get started. So before we do anything with Repitch, let's have a listen to the performance that we're working with. Just cause I don't want you, birds. Okay, so on the whole, that's an absolutely fantastic performance, but for the sake of demonstration, let's say that we want to tune this to 100% and we want to do this in the most natural and transparent way possible. So I'm going to select the lead vocal track over here, and as long as you have your inspector open, we're going to click this little drop down arrow, and under extensions, we are going to choose repitch. This will automatically load this lead vocal performance into Repitch. Now we will double click to open the editor and now you can see that this vocal is being ingested. Now before we get started, a couple navigation tips. Holding Option Command on a Mac or Alt Control on a PC gives us the ability to click, hold and drag and we have this dynamic zooming tool that's available where we can zoom in and out of the different areas as needed. Now holding Shift Command on a Mac or Shift Control on a PC, we can click, hold and drag to reposition the contents of this editing screen. Making a selection across pitch blocks and using the Y key will create a cycle range in Repitch that matches in Cubase. Making a selection across multiple pitch blocks and using the Z key will zoom this in horizontally into view. We have a scroll bar at the bottom here, which we can use to navigate from left to right. And in addition, we can drag out the handles of the scroll bar in order to position the notes of our performance in this particular area. We also have a couple different ways in which we can engage playback. For example, double clicking from within the editor. Just cause I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean we can use the space bar to stop or just cause I don't want you, babe. Another double click. In addition, making a highlighted selection across pitch blocks and using the forward slash key will allow us to addition the pitch blocks that we have highlighted. I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean also worth mentioning that any time that you engage playback from within the actual editor, we will be listening to our vocal track in isolation. This can come in really handy when editing. Also, if you'd like to prevent any automatic scrolling that's happening from within the repitch window during playback, we have a scroll lock option. This is something that you can engage manually. I don't want to know your name. Don't need your drinks. Or any time that you've made a pitch block selection, this is something that will be enabled by default. You can also make adjustments to the background waveforms in terms of the vertical zooming that we'd like to see. Now, in terms of how we go about tuning our vocals, there's a couple different options here. So for example, if we click this little drop down arrow, you'll see that we have a vocal category and Synchro Arts have provided some macros that will essentially do some pre-processing to our vocals. So for example, snap all to note centers 100%, running this macro would automatically snap the whole entire performance to the nearest semitone. This is of course based on a chromatic scale. But in this case, I actually want to use some of the automatic tools available from within Repitch to adjust this performance. So I'm going to click from within the editor and we'll use a command A or control A on a PC and I'm going to call up the center notes tool. Let's dial this up, and as you can see, as I dial this up to 100%, you can see all of these notes just kind of snapping to the nearest semitone. Let's have a listen to these results. I'm going to double click from within the editor to hear this in isolation. Just cause I don't want you, babe, it doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't wanna know your name, don't need your drinks, no. Okay, so that sounds really good to me. Just a reminder of where we began. Just cause I don't want you, babe, it doesn't mean so I think that's an improvement. Let's dial this back up to 100%. Now I only really heard one thing that I wanna adjust and that is this section over here. So I'm going to switch over to the split tool by clicking the S key and let's use our option command to zoom in on this particular area. As you can see the option command key or any zoom modifiers are available regardless of which tool we're using. Just gonna hover my cursor in between this section over here and let's split this section. 
Now I'm going to click the S key again to return myself back to my main tool, and I'm going to double click to snap this back to its original position. While we're at it, let's fix this little jagged area over here by switching to the draw tool and just smoothing out this transition. Now let's have a listen to see how this sounds. Just cause I don't want you, babe, it doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't want to know your name, don't need your drinks, no, you can keep your number. Alright, at this point, let's say for sake of demonstration that I'm happy with the end result. The last step would be actually rendering this into the file. I'm going to select this track over here, make sure that this drop down menu is engaged, and at the bottom, I'm going to choose Make Track Extension Permanent. This is going to render a new file. Let's have a listen to our end result. So that's using Repitch Air Array from within Cubase version 12.0.40. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you in the next one.